Okay, now we're on number two of being redefining success. So like I have been saying, success is a process and not necessarily a goal. We always think of it as a goal, like this is success, the end of the race. But I'm thinking more along the lines of success being a process. And so the next step, the next logical step would be to set goals, set concrete goals, okay? So here's the thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you have something that you want, say you want to you want to buy a car, okay? But you don't have a plan on how you're going to get that car. Then it's just a dream. It's a wish. It's not a goal. But if you say I want a car, I have to come up with this amount of money. Um, and this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to put in extra work at home. I'm going to sell some things on eBay. I'm going to have a yard sale. I'm going to clean up my credit, whatever the case may be. And you say, okay, so I'm going to work so many hours and I'm going to put away this percentage of money out of every paycheck. Eventually I'll have enough money to, to buy a car or I'll do this thing to, to clean up my credit. You know, all these different things. You have a concrete goal and you have a timeline. To how much how long it will take you to get from point A to point B we have to remember setting goals it's good to have a main goal but maybe um, let's see I'm trying to think of something uh, sometimes you can break down those goals into smaller goals so let's just say okay so for instance I have an eBay store my final goal would be to have 10,000 pieces in my store. I'm not even near anywhere clear near that. I have a long way to go, okay? And I don't even have a space for that much stuff. But I can break it down. So like right now I have almost 400 pieces in my store. My next goal would be 500 pieces. And how am I gonna get to that? Well, I do have a plan and I need some money for that plan so how am I going to get that money to get because what I want to do is order something okay um, so how am I going to get that that money in order to buy the shipment of stuff that I want well first thing I got to do is list more things you know and I have to do it in sort of a timely manner and then out of those listings I need to put some money aside so that I have enough money to buy this order that I want to buy so that I can grow my store it's like that and and that's just to get to say five or six hundred and then from six hundred it would be seven or eight hundred and then a thousand and then you know after that and then <coughs> excuse me I'm so sorry <coughs> I caught a little cold it's not COVID I swear to God <coughs> I got drenched in the rain the other day and this is what happened so but I'm wearing my mask when I'm out in public I promise I promise I'm, I'm not contagious um, but anyway that's what I'm saying you can break a big goal into smaller goals to get to the other goal and that when you have these little goals along the way it makes it so much easier to get to the big goal because it's like taking one step and then one step and then one step, but you have to have concrete goals. You can just say, I want a $10,000 unit eBay store. It's not gonna just come and show up on my doorstep one day, you know? And even if it did, I still have to put the work in it to get it online. So you have to have goals and you have to have concrete goals so that you know how to get where you're going. Thank you so much for listening. Please, questions and comments, I love them. I answer every comment pretty much every comment and if you give me a thumbs up you're really helping me out a lot I have goals for this eBay channel this year too and um, don't forget to subscribe okay I'll see you guys later bye